Hey guys, welcome back to more World Snooker Championship 2005 and part 16 of our career mode. Hopefully you all had a great Christmas and are looking forward to 2019 starting in a few days. The last year of the 2010s. Okay, I'm getting old. You don't need a reminders, okay? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> today we're continuing the semi-final match against Matthew Stevens. It's currently 11-9. Can we take a lead into the final session? I'd be happy with just levelling. Uh, we've just made that fantastic sentry of 120. Can we keep it going? Let's find out. I wonder if he'll put further pressure on his opponent. So Matthew Stevens breaks off in frame 21. He's left this long red. Be long before he'd be trying to bring a few reds out into the open. And with my new sight right methods. I think I'll be able to pull this one off, uh, stun in behind the black, and uh, well, well, I don't, I, I can't even remember if I looked at the angle of this. Mm, we didn't, for God's sake. You had a go at it, but it wasn't easy. I was just concentrating on the cue ball. Completely took my eye off the pot there. But luckily, oh. I don't think. Which option will he plump for? I don't think he's intelligent enough to go into the it's pack a good here. Pot and things might just start to open up in front of him here. So six. It's just going to cost us six points, but uh, <laughs> that was a little bit it's annoying. A <laughs> shot. He's got it all to I do. I just realised as soon as I pressed X, I was like, "That that red that red is going nowhere near the pocket." But uh, well, if yep. Matthews Safely left us this shot I can't again, see any that's easy really pot poor. There. And he hasn't. Um, Yeah, we've got to be careful here now. Played it well, I think. The red on the cushion's a bit of a headache. I think he's. I think we've left that red on the left-hand side, but whether he'll take it on or not, well, he is. Nope, nowhere near. No, it was a tricky shot, in fairness. Mm. He'll be extra annoyed because he's done a decent job with the cue ball. Well, if we pop this, bring them reds into play, hopefully bring the black... Oh, it's a cue ball! No, oh, wow. that is cruel. Worth plenty in billiards, not in snooker. Oh, that is cruel. Oh dear, watching on the replay, it's just an accident waiting to happen. Just didn't want to clip the pink. As we went through, oh, he's take, he's not take, what, he's taking the one on the cushion, not the red into the middle. Well, I mean that that is a that could terrible prove to shot. Be a crucial miss. He's spoiled for choice here. Well, yeah, I really don't like shots into the middle. So he gets on the scoreboard. He'll breathe a little easier now. I can't see anything easy out there. Just didn't go through enough to get onto the black, unfortunately. So green it is. It's a good pot and things might just start to open up in front of him here. Four. Hmm. There's the red near the right-hand side pocket that we can take It was take a tricky on. pot, but he's done okay considering. We've got to take advantage of this now. Matthew's missed a couple of chances here. And uh, we've got oh. away with it, so. He should be able to get the angle we need to he wants take from here. advantage of that. So, top and right hand side. Power it through the ball end. And hopefully back down towards the business end of the table. Just not enough power on it. Ten. He's put some topspin on the cue ball there. We should be okay. He'll almost certainly try to cultivate a nice position on the black here. Which of the available reds will leave him in best stead to continue the break? So I'm playing the deep screw back onto the blue. Or ball colour. Eleven. Well, I think we'll probably end up I rolling guess he this wants blue. A bit of power on this shot if he's to get around the, the corner table for his next. A little bit of right hand side. Try and get on that red on the bottom cushion. That was a nice blue. 
we'll settle for that. 16. It's not the red we play as well. Playing with left hand side here. Oh, and a break. 17. Uh, I can't see a way out without coming off the cushion. It'll have to be the blue. You never know, we could end up knocking this in here. Well, we didn't want to hit it full ball. That one on the side cushion is a realistic choice. So again, we haven't took what? advantage. And uh, first time of asking, he gets on the black. On the next red from here. <laughs> we tried so hard to get on that black. Takes Matthew one shot. Eight. It's no secret he's assessing what the best position is for the next red. Well, he is playing another one down the side Will cushion. Nice These are tough. Sure. There's several roads he can go down here. And now he's getting the pink back on its spot. Fifteen. The pink goes down then. Definitely a missed opportunity this frame. I think he wants to get nicely on the black after this one. Sixteen. I don't see where the missed pot is coming from. Got the requisite requisite counter number one but, I mean that's an absolutely terrible shot I don't know what he's played on here there's nothing really shouting out at him <laughs> no he deserved Ooh, to miss that that really was a heartbreaker and now this that is a huge frame because we've both had two maybe three chances each so far so we, we've really got to take advantage this time he's potted it that shouldn't hurt his confidence. One. He's controlled the cue ball nicely there. Just got to play this with a bit of top. Hit that red just to the left of the black here. Mm, Eight. Not certain we're on anything. Not even the red into the corner. Nice pop, but what about the positioning? Does this red like go? You have to play safe. Maybe if we play it soft enough, that'll that'll drop. There it is. Nine. Ooh. There's a few roads he can go down here. Ooh, look me there. There's a little stun run through. Yeah. Fifteen. He's dispensed with the pink nicely there. It's important he gets a good angle on the black. That red near the black's probably worth considering. Well, if we can avoid the black here, that would be great. And we have done. 16. Yep, he's got where he wanted to go. <clears throat> it's just slightly annoying that we uh, have to play one into the middle now, but uh, it's fine. He got the black in his sights. That was straightforward enough. He'll try and get on the green from here. He needs to get a nice position on the colour to open up the next red. Just going to drop it in and hope for the best with position. 24. The black's looking like a good bet again. He's on the, the black's eye like. <laughs> oh dear. We've missed a, a few of these type of shots on uh, in the series already. This could be a critical oh, a break. Shot. Thirty-one. There's no reason why he can't get nicely onto the black again from here. Even the game appreciated that one. Thirty-two. I think he'll take this pink on. So pink up for that red in bulk. Should be okay. 38. Gonna need the long piece of kit. That now. red is definitely potable. 
and just red and blue would be enough here. <coughs> that looks good. 39. There's several roads you can go down here. <laughs> 44. He's got a little bit of breathing room then. Um, this is a huge frame. Both of us have had multiple chances to win, but we're going to be the one that gets an extra frame in the Six. column. A very strange frame here, but uh, starting to get a little bit of momentum. This will be two frames in a row. 49. It's a decent pot that puts him in a good position. Yep, sunk the brown well there. 53. Just drop this blue in. That was a nice blue. 58. <laughs> Drop the pink in. He's just got... 64. Then play the double on the black, as always. Get in! Oof! <laughs> Never mind. Well... We've reduced our deficit to one frame, and it's now 11-10, Matthew Stevens. So, this time, well, I mean, hopefully we'll pot, pot a red. But that is a much better break-off. We gave it a little bit more pace, and attacked it a bit more. It's a shot off nothing, so we'll have a dig. Got the white where we wanted it. Tough opening red for Matthew Stevens. Oof, again missed it. And again leaves us an opportunity. Oh, can get behind the cue ball without a problem there. So, can we level the match here? One. Just drop the red in. Yep, he's got where he wanted to go. You, you guys probably already know what I'm thinking here with the opening red and black. Eight. That one might settle any nerves he's feeling. He made the pot without too much difficulty. <laughs> oh, for God's sake, surely that next. one goes. Too much emphasis placed on the pot there. I think that's fine. As long as we really drop it in, I think that should be okay. Yeah. Nine. Whew. He'll be keeping one eye on developing the reds. It is a good opportunity to get into the reds, to be fair. Oops. Don't want to hit it too hard. That's perfect. That's pretty much exactly what Great you want. Stuff. He got the angle right, and the frame looks there to be won now. I reckon he's got a good chance of being in position for another black. You won't be too disheartened by this position, but once you run out of position, it can be a nightmare trying to regain it. I'm going to play a little drag shot here to try and hold it for the black. That's perfect. 17. You'll need to play this one with kid gloves, I think. A little bit of top on it. That's fine. 24. It's travelled a bit too far, that one. <clears throat> Three reds. Pot. Three blacks. For the next. Can you guys tell what I'm doing, yeah? Yep. It was a great pot, and he got a great position, too. Twenty-five. You won't be too disappointed to be going for black again. Tell you what, though, that was a poor shot. I think we're okay, though. 
32. Mm. Which of the available reds will leave him in best stead to continue the break? I mean, that red's tough. But definitely possible. Drop it in, gives it every chance. Uh, get in there. Oh. We've found his stride. He's queuing nicely. <laughs> Taking the black seems like the sensible option here. Well, this will be our fifth black, so we're a third Forty. of the way there. And now we can finally get rid of this red. The technical term for that is the high butt. Shot. 41. He's controlled the cue ball nicely there. You know what? We're going to absolutely hammer this in. 48. It's not ideal position. You'll probably want to get position back on the black. I was hoping to be on one of this these red reds on the... the right angle on the black to lead him to his next red. On the right hand side. We don't want to play it that hard, do we? That'll be fine. 49. Left ourselves Won't a tough black, though. So disappointed to be going for black again. Should be fine. With a bit of bottom, could open these reds up a little bit more. It's looking good with this visit, nothing spectacular. He's building a nice break. Wow, well, got a nice smooth action at the moment. This is our best chance with a 147 from here that we'll ever have. Next to the pink spot, that's the one he should go for. Now, I have made one on this game before, it was a long time ago, though. So, definitely feeling the butterflies now because this is a big opportunity. He's just got to put as many points on the board as he can. Six decent it's high, but ideal. it's not an easy shot. That is not ideal. So I think the shot is going to be this one. Get this one out of the way now. Play it with. A lot of screw and get back down for the black. And that is perfect. 65. <clears throat> so just this black and one more red. And we've won the frame. But our minds are obviously on other things right now. Seventy-two. It's not the ideal shot. Oof. None of these are nice. Not the guy on the black, at least you know. You know, could quite easily play one of them reds near the pink spot, and uh, and just get on blue or blue or pink, but. Playing the slightly more difficult red into the middle. This is really, really tough. And remember, we haven't won the frame yet, so it's imperative that this goes in. It's there. Come on. Seventy-three. He's well in the lead. Oh. He can relax a little, but not too much. 
The frame's safe now, and he can relax a little. Eight. All the way round the table, then. Much easier one into the middle this time. He's looking good for a century. 81. The 147 is well and truly on. Can he keep his head? Now John Parrott putting us under pressure. 88. Might have to go around the table this time. Unless we can get to that one. And we can. Just about. Gonna play this with a lot of pace to try and get back over the other side of the table. Oh, it needs to pull up! It needs to pull up. Eighty-nine. Oh, oh my word! This is an incredibly difficult pot that we've left ourselves now. So and then we've got to think about getting on a red as well. Oh well, we've got the the extra arrow that could make all the difference, you know. It certainly doesn't look far away. It's been a good effort, guys. I'm not sure this one is going to go in this might be one pot too far yeah it is what a shame what a big shame that is well it wasn't to be the frames his but he'd like to have notched up the hundred oh never mind <laughs> oh what a shame what a shame oh i'm good about that but anyway 89 wins us the frame and uh, we're back on level pegging here at uh, 11 all which is very very good we go off to the perfect start won three frames in a row here so you'll want to be as tight as possible on the board cushion here but uh, you've got to be a little bit disappointed that that didn't go in but uh, it's just the way these things go we are going for this Automatically. I don't think we're on the black, so we can't go for the 147 again, guys. I think he'll <laughs> take this pink on. But uh, it was definitely a good effort. Uh, it was just the, the the position on the the red wasn't good enough to to get on the black, and we just overhit it very slightly, and uh, it was always going to be a tough part. That maybe five out of ten of them go in. Seven. But we got a frame on the board, and that's the most important the thing. After this one. Um, does that black go? I think, I think we'll just drop it in a little bit. and Eight. Maybe it does go. The black's out of commission here. Oh. John Parrott, you moron. <laughs> I think the... Oh. I thought the pink might go, but it doesn't. And we get the blue. No, we can't. Dear me, we're going to have to take on this green. Which is a tough shot. Not leaving it easy for ourselves, are we? The green doesn't present too many problems then. 11. That was a nice pot, though. Could do with that blue being back on its spot. It was a hard enough pot, but to get position as well. This is a good time to just nudge the black. No, I think they think I'm playing the the, the two reds uh, close together on the right-hand side, which I'm not, well, obviously. Which option will he plump for? So, blue here. Bottom and left-hand side. And try and go into these remaining reds. Mm, just missed them. 17. He's controlled the cue ball nicely there. Uh, I think we're on this one. 
That's a, a, an occasion where you would hold your hand up the opponent there, because that was uh, that was not intended. Oof. Eighteen. He needs to keep a nice tight rein on that cue ball. Just come back a couple of inches here. He should be okay. Twenty-three. Might have just come back a little bit too much. Again, maybe Which of not. the available reds will leave him in best stead to continue the break? Did for the red we were playing for, but again, Excellent. we're on this one. He got the pot and controlled the cue ball well there. 24. <coughs> the blue looks about his best chance. 29. That's a good shot. Yeah, this time we're on it. So, deep screw here, try and force our way through. Oh, the pink pulls up. 30. Mm. It wasn't his mind. best shot, but he'll probably settle for it. We're on the green, though, so. This is a situation where the AI would always take the blue, but uh, the green is the easier shot for the human to take. 33. Seems to have found his stride. He's queuing nicely. Which option will he plump for? Yeah, we're chipping away here and could be taking the lead for the first time in a long, long time. I can't 34. remember the last time we were ahead in this match. He can match. be on the red quite nicely from here. Thirty-nine. Mm, we left the side there. He's going to have to pull something out of the bag to get a pot here. I get the feeling he might just hit this one and hope for the best. Yep, I think that one goes, so... Play that one. There's a bit of a shot to nothing, but... I was quite confident that it would go in. Forty. Looks like he's earmarked another five points. Just come back a couple of inches once again. 45. <clears throat> and we're doing all this without the pink and the black. So it really is impressive. Probably not able to get the right side of the blue here. So. 46. Again, we'll just have to... Drop it in, let it go a couple of inches. 51. Screw back for the blue here. 52. This time we're perfect. We're going to aim for the cannon on those two reds above the black, but we knew that would be fine on this red below. So, just this red, and any colour, and we're taking the lead once again in this match, for the first time in a long time. 58. So, Brown's the ball. We are absolutely delighted with this. That's the one he was after. It makes the frame safe. 62. He's done a good job here and can breathe a little easy for a while. And the black goes now, so we can just drop this in on and off the cushion. 63. Play the, bled, uh, play the black, uh, flick the red away from... It's looking good with this. 70. There you go. He's on a decent run of scoring here. Screw back nicely for the black. 71. Mm. 
78. I'll be back in a second, guys. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. I uh, just had to go for me tea. So, yeah, it could be another sentry break on the, the car. Well, it should be. In all honesty, it should be. But, uh... 79. I'll tell you what, I wish I could play like this in real life. <laughs> My ice break is a uh, 67 clearance. It was, really was a good break, actually. <laughs> He's got the century um, in his sights. I've Eight had a few fifties, but uh, never really close to a century. Uh, I've had the first five reds and blacks of a 147, and then you just get too excited. <laughs> That's the problem. I think, you know, once I'd had one or two, I think I'd be fine. You know, but it's just the pressure that gets to you at the end of the day. 94. But, uh, we'll see if we can 96. get a couple of frames ahead before the, uh, the final session. 99. We need only four frames to go. But two centuries in four frames and at eighty nine. We'll take a lot of absolutely brilliant. One hundred and three. One hundred and eight. Can we screw this in? Should be able to. I'm just uh, a little bit nervous that it'll just stop dead. Yeah, it did. <laughs> Let's try the black. Probably won't go in, but uh, we'll try it. Mm -hmm. It's a beauty and it's in. What a clearance that is. 121 clearance there. And we now take the lead for the first time in a while. It's now 12-11. So, very important final frame of the session. We started 9-7 down. Can we now take a two-frame lead and win it 6-2? He needs to get the cue ball back to the ball to be safe. Is Matthew going for one here? He is, and that is absolutely miles off. He had to use a bit of side and did pretty well, all told. Well, he can get behind the cue ball without a problem there. He's been a little bit fortunate. I don't. Um, there's not an easy one on. Maybe that one up past the blue. Just have a look at how close we have to get to the blue for it to... Go in so sort of in in between the the blue and pink. It is a very tough shot though. Matthew's definitely got away with that. Um we'll try and screw back for this black and not leave anything if we miss it. Well we don't need to worry about missing it. What a shot that is. Let's have another look at that fabulous pot. Let's look from the T V camera. Absolutely brilliant. He'll leave his opponent but, in all sorts of strife. He can get tight behind the black. I guess we can. If we, if we go right behind the black here. And uh, Matthew's in a bit of trouble. He snooped there we go. The crowd like that. You're not wrong. So, Matthew, you've got to We're get this safe. out of jail using the cushion here. I mean, it wasn't a bad attempt, but uh, it was never going to work. Nicely on the black after this one. To be honest with you, so I want to try and get on the black here. Should be fine. One. Nice shot. Hmm. You should proceed with caution. Drum Virgo sounded like a cow there. <laughs> Eight. <laughs> that one might settle any nerves he's feeling. 
I reckon he's got a good chance of being in position for another black. You won't be too disheartened by this position, but once you run out of position, it can be a nightmare trying to regain it. We know all about these tricky cutback uh, reds into the middle. <coughs> nope. Wow. He's disappointed, I That's think. That's a let off for Ma Matthew. He's on the scoreboard. Now he needs to build. He's what? kissed that red into an awkward position. I'm not worried about losing the frame at this point particularly. Nine, eight. I think we should be okay. There's a chance to follow up from that good pot. Nine. Is he going to go into them? He's got to find a way to bring some reds into play soon. I think he is. And he has done. Where's the red? Ooh. Sick. Can he see it? That's the question. If not, he's got a tough red. Well, he's left himself some work there. Oh, he's going for this one up the cushion. <coughs> no. Oh, that really <sighs> was a heartbreaker. He that was always going to be here. tough. But uh, only 16 points scored from that. <clears throat> He'll be very, very disappointed, Matthew, the way he's played he in this be able to get mini the angle session. He from here. That one might settle any nerves he's feeling. Eight. And for this red into the middle pocket. Can't see any easy pot there. <laughs> Knowing that we would have Maybe the, it's safety time. the ones on the corner pockets uh, if we needed them. Nine. He needs to keep a nice tight rein on that cue ball. Good pot on the blue. 14. Yep, it was a great pot and he got a great position too. Shouldn't be any problems here. Nice. 15. Taking the black seems like the sensible option here. Screw it back. 22. Should be able to power through the reds here. You know he might be running out of chances to get into the cluster. Yep, he's got where he wanted to go. Bit of top spin and, and we should be absolutely fine here. Yep. There you go. Three. Yeah. Another black looks on the cards. It's a decent break that. Thirty. Just a little bit out of He's position here. Around the table here. I'm just going to drop this red down the cushion. 31. It's nice to see that his queuing has settled well. Thirty-eight. No problem with the pots at the moment. There's a few reds available. <coughs> Decisions, decisions. Again, we're going to go red for... Will give him the right angle on the black to lead him to his next red. Red into the middle. Should be okay. It's a little bit easier than the last one, but... Still had to respect it. 39. <clears throat> He'll take the black, I'm sure. This is the last nice pot on the easy black. red to get on to, but even that we failed in. So not in an ideal to position. Take one of the but he's still in with insurance the ones. Is he going to go for this red? A little bit of left hand side, and this should be absolutely fine. Yep. Forty-seven. We're really hitting our stride here. There. Gonna stun it. He's going for one of them reds. Not perfect. Two. Got the cut back. Well, he's left himself some work there. Well, that's a, it's he's a little bit further away from the pocket than I thought. There. Good pot, mind. May not be possible. What about this red? I bet you that pink's a, a good guide. It's a tough red, but... Uh, 
one I'd be confident of getting on the game. And it's right in the heart of the pocket. 53. All the way round the table then. Just drop this in. Well, he'll be pleased that at the very least he's got a bit of potting practice there. That one could prove to be a frame clincher. So that's uh, the frame one. He's got a little bit of breathing room then. Now it's all about the centering. I don't think he'll be asking too much to get on the green from here. Sixty. There's a few roads he can go down here. As long as we're on 73 by the yellow, we can get the centering and we will be pleased we'll to be amassing be a tidy little points total. 66. Oh, actually, I don't think we can pot one here. He's not playing as well as he'd like at the minute. He potted um, the ball excellently, but he's not got a position to speak of. I'm going to have to try a sort of half-hearted cocked hat double here. Close. Not far away, but that is going to be enough to win the frame anyway. He's looking at snookers now. And there we have it. How long it continue if he doesn't <clears> get one here. So Matthew Stevens concedes and we win, well, win the session 6-2, opening out a 13-11 uh, lead for the final session. If you've enjoyed that, make sure you leave a like down below. It really does help me out. It means a lot to me as well. Subscribe to the channel if uh, you'd like to see more regular snooker content. Happy New Year, by the way, for, for Tuesday, and I'll see you in 2019. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching, and... Goodbye.